Hello students, let's do constructions. Exercise 23A, questions 3 to 6. Page number 234. Question 3. Draw line AB that will be equal to 6 centimeters and then construct an angle ABC that is equal to 60 degrees. Then draw the bisector of angle ABC. So the first part is constructing an angle of 60 degrees and then bisecting this angle. Bisecting means dividing this angle into two equal halves. So each half will be 30 degrees. So let's begin. First step, draw line segment AB that is equal to 6 centimeters. So we have a line segment AB that is 6 centimeters. Second step, construct angle ABC that will be equal to 60 degrees using a compass. So we are going to construct a 60 degree angle now. So let's begin with B as the center. So we're going to keep B as the center of a circle and draw an arc. So take your compass, take any measurement on it, place the needle on B and draw an arc like this. This arc will cut this line BA or AB at a point E. Now, second, next step. Now with the same radius, don't change the radius on your compass. Place it at E and cut this first arc, cut it at a point D. So what did we do? We placed the needle on B and cut this arc. Then we placed it on E and cut this arc. Now join BD, join BD and extend the line up to C. So we get this, we've joined BD, we've extended the line up to the point C. Now angle, ABC is 60 degrees, that is this angle ABC or CBA is now 60 degrees. So we have finished constructing an angle of 60 degrees. We have finished the first part of our question. Now let's bisect this angle. So let's go on to the next portion. Place the compass on E. Now place that needle on E and draw an arc. Place it on D and cut that arc. So first we're going to place it on E and draw an arc. Then we're going to place it on D and cut that arc. Now the two arcs will cut each other at the point F. Now join BF. We've got a point F there. Now let's join BF. So we have joined BF as you can see from B to F we have a line going and now Angle CBF and is equal to angle ABF which is equal to 30 degrees. So CBF is here. So we have the angle CBF. This is 30 degrees and we have angle ABF which is 30 degrees. So first we constructed an angle of 60 degrees. Then we divided it into two equal halves. So we have completed question 3. Question 4. Draw a line segment PQ that is equal to 8 centimeters. Then we have to construct a perpendicular bisector of this line segment. Perpendicular line is a line that cuts another line exactly at right angles. Now, if it is a bisector, this line will divide the line into two equal halves. So, let the perpendicular bisector drawn meet PQ at point R. Now, we are going to follow all these instructions. Okay, so let's begin with the first step. Draw a line segment PQ that is equal to 8 centimeters. So we've drawn a line segment PQ that is equal to 8 centimeters. Now with P and Q as centers, okay, here let's be careful. With P as the center of the circle and Q as the center of another circle, take radius of a particular measurement. Now listen carefully. Whenever you draw a perpendicular bisector, the radii, radii is plural of radius, must be more than half the length of PQ. When you are constructing a perpendicular bisector, measure the length of this line. This is given to us as 8. What is half of 8? 4. So the radius that you take now must be more than 4. So take 5 centimeters. So take 5 centimeters radius on your compass, place the needle of your compass on P 
draw an arc on top and at the bottom. You're drawing a straight line. Keeping that in mind, draw a line on top and draw a line down. Then keep your needle of your compass at Q and cut those arcs. So let's do that. Let's keep the needle at P and draw an arc. You've drawn an arc here after keeping the needle of the compass here. Now draw one more arc straight below that. So we have one more arc straight below that. Now keep your compass on Q and cut the arc on top and cut the arc at the bottom. Now these arcs must cut each other at particular points. You're going to name those points C and D. Now join C, D. Can you see now? The line C, D has cut the line P, Q at a particular point and we're going to name that point R. So the question said that, let's it meet P, Q at point R and we have done that. Now, the next question is measure the lengths of PR. Now, this is PR and this is QR or RQ. Measure the lengths. Are they equal is the question. Yes, if you measure and see, this portion PR will be 4 centimeters. This will be 4 centimeters. And this portion also will be 4 centimeters because this line that you have drawn is the perpendicular bisector which has cut this line or divided this line into two equal halves of four centimeter each. So that is what we've written here. Yes, PR is equal to QR and both are equal to four centimeters. Then angle PRC, which is angle PRC? Angle PRC is this angle. Now angle PRC is equal to 90 degrees. Now this is another condition that you must satisfy if it is a perpendicular line. So this is a perpendicular line because it's meeting PQ at 90 degrees and it's going right through the middle so it is a perpendicular bisector. So this line CD, CD is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Question 5 here, draw a line segment, they've told us a measurement, they've told us what else to do, mark a point, P on it, such that AP is 3 centimeters. We have to be careful about that. Then finally, draw a perpendicular onto AB at point P. So let's begin. The first part is draw a line segment AB equals 7 centimeters. So let's draw a line segment AB that is equal to 7 centimeters. Mark a point P on AB such that AP is 3 centimeters. So we have marked a point. Now how do you mark a point? You don't simply mark it anywhere. Now take your ruler, get 3 centimeters from A. So when you get 3 centimeters from A, this is the point you reach. We are going to name that point P. So AP is 3 centimeters as the question tells us. So that is 3 centimeters. So now we have finished the first part of the question. Now let's go to the main part. Draw perpendicular onto AB at this point P. So we have AB here and we have a point P. We have to draw a perpendicular to P. That means we have to draw a line, straight line that's passing through P. Perpendicular line that will pass through P. So let's begin taking P as the center. So take this as the center and draw two arcs of the same radius that will cut AB. It will cut this line AB at two points. So keep the needle of your compass on P, draw an arc on the left side, name it C, the point where it meets the line, draw one more on the right side, name that point D where it meets. Okay, so we draw, draw two arcs, we have named the meeting points as D C and D. Now take C and D as centers. Now take C as a center and draw an arc here. Take D as a center and cut that arc. So C, we have drawn an arc. From D, we have drawn another arc and they are intersecting at the point E. Now join PE. Join PE. 
We have joined P and E. P E is the required perpendicular onto the line AB through point P on it. So we have drawn a perpendicular line meeting at point P according to the question. So we have completed question 5. Question 6. Draw a line segment AB that is equal to 6.5 centimeters. Now locate a point P. Now they are asking us to find a point P and they have given us instructions how to find it. 5 centimeters from A and 4.6 centimeters from B. So first draw a line segment 6.5 centimeters. So let's follow that first. So draw a line segment AB 6.5 centimeters. So we have AB which is 6.5 centimeters. Now they're saying locate a point P. Now we have to find a point P here. Now because it's perpendicular line, it should be a straight line. So the perpendicular, the point should be here somewhere, the point P. So with A as the center, draw an arc of radius 5 centimeters because it's given 5 centimeters from A. So take 5 centimeters on your compass and draw an arc. You'll get an arc like this from A 5 centimeters. Similarly, with B as the center, draw another arc. This time, what is the measurement of B? 4.6 centimeters and that will cut this first arc. So let's draw that. So that has cut the first arc at the point P. So we're going to name that point P. Now, P is the required point. Remember, they said locate a point and we have located that point. The point where the two arcs meet, this is the point that we have located according to the question. Then, with P as the center, draw an arc of suitable radius. Now, keeping P as the center, keep the needle of your compass on P and draw an arc which will cut AB. It's going to cut the line AB. So, let, it, let us draw that. And you see we have drawn an arc from P and it has cut AB. We are going to name these points of intersection as R and S. Now with R and S as centers, draw two arcs of equal radii. Now we are going to keep the needle at R, draw an arc here. We are going to keep the needle at S and cut that arc on the opposite side of AB. So we have kept it at R and drawn an arc. Now we keep it at S and cut that arc. Name this point T. The point where the two arcs meet, name that point T. Now join P and T. You have P here, you have T here. Join P and T. So let's join that. Now can you see that it's intersecting this line at a particular point? Let's name that point Q. Now, PT is the required perpendicular. So, we were asked to construct a perpendicular line and we have got the required perpendicular PT. Okay, so this is cut it at an angle of 90 degrees. All perpendicular lines will cut at an angle of 90 degrees. With that, children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.